What's up guys? Tactical here again with another episode of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Last time uh, we came up here to Black Mountain to deal with a bunch of super mutants and nightkin that were just killing humans on sight and we took care of them. Oh lord, he's glitching. Mo. I don't know who Mo is, but he's glitched through the ground. We took care of them and we reunited a Mr. Handy, or I guess Mrs. Handy by the name they gave it, even though it sounded like a, it had a man's voice, named Rhonda with the, with Tabitha. <clears throat> uh, in this episode, hmm, I'm not really sure what we're going to do. What level are we? Level 21. Hmm. Well, let's go to Gunrunners, I guess. Gun runners, we could sell the stuff we don't want and get the stuff we need. We still need a fully automatic weapon since we got rid of the LMG and we found out and I found out that Marksman Carbine is semi auto, not automatic. Alright. Believe it, I'm gonna sell these three nine millimeters. I'm going to sell Annabelle, I don't need it, sell the frags, sell the heavy incinerator, sell that, sell that, all the vomit rifles. I think they're 308s, right? I need more of that. Yeah, sell the 308 rounds. The 10 mil. 20 gauge. Anything else? more money the two nuka colas and the nuka cola victory all right it gives us an extra four thousand caps good do you have any more you have no more 4570 jesus christ <laughs> tempted by the same time material off but i just don't have enough for it Where's Gehenna? I think I think it's pronounced Gehenna. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, LMG. I'm trying to see, and it's just not a lot to choose from. So we're just gonna leave it. And I'm trying to think where else we could buy some freaking weapons from. That's it. Not a lot of places we can go to. Let's go to Mick and Ralph. Maybe he has some 45. Look, maybe Mick has some 4570. Because we really need some of that for our uh, brush gun. Because I think the only 4570 ammo we have is the four hollow point rounds and I really and they increase the DT of the target so why would I want that the damage threshold damage threshold <clears throat> yo Mick you got any 4570 oh, government no. rounds what do you got for sale buddy wait there we go Please tell me you have some 45. You damn it! Doesn't nobody has any 4570 government rounds? What the hell? What do you got in terms of weapons? Any new weapons that I can buy off of you? Anything? Uh, there's a katana. I can always take that. I do like that. So you know what? I am gonna buy the katana. Even though I said I would never buy melee weapons, I'm buying the katana. Why the hell not? You need anything else? Uh, can you repair anything for me? My armor. Alright. Thanks, Mick. Now. I know there's mods you can get for the katana. I need ammunition. That is my main issue. I think today... Let's see. What am I carrying in terms of ammo? I got plenty of 44. I'm pretty sure I got plenty of 5.56. Five, I got plenty of 12 gauge. 
Yeah, I'm good on five, five, six. Um, I still need some forty-five, seventy. I'm trying to think where I could go to get some, and I don't know exactly. Crimson Caravan Company. I think they sell ammo, ammo sometimes. I might be able to get some there. I won't be able to buy much because I only got about 700 and something caps. So, I've heard the Legion's planning to unleash their best men again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck the Legion. Hey, it's Ringo. Hey there. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Spring. Oh, shit. So what's next for you, man? I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan, which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way. So it'll be up to me to get things started. Well, good luck with that. Good luck, buddy. We actually will end up heading that way when we start the Honest Hearts DLC. If you're looking to buy or sell. All right, show me what you got for sale. You have ammo, good. Any forty, any forty-five. You have forty-five seventy government rounds. Thank you. I'll go ahead and take the hollow points. What else you got in terms of ammo? Got five, five, six. Weapons. Weapons, weapons, weapons. You ain't got much for weapons. Let's see. Wait, what you got here? Revolver heavy frame. I think I already got that on there. Let me see. The hell? Okay, well, I'll take it. Uh, let's see what else you got. It's got stem pack, steady. I'll take the locksmith's reader, meeting people. I'll take those. Alright. Thank you. We're gonna come back here later. Uh, but now we've got some weapon for our we got some ammunition for our brush gun. So that's a good thing. So now I now with this now that I've got some more ammunition. I think with this episode, guys, I think we're actually quite possibly going to go explore the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters. We may not be able to do that. We may not find what we need exactly in there, but, uh... Yeah, Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters. You know the strip's all stirred up lately? We might, um, be able to just explore it, collect some other stuff. We might get closer to getting 50 star bottle caps in there since it is, I mean, the place where the shit's made. There's five bottle caps. Nothing in there. Alright, Rex, let's go in, buddy. Depending on how long we spend in here, we'll determine if this is the only thing we do in this episode. So there's old Festus. Now, I'm looking for Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Caps. Or full bottles that haven't been drank from yet. There's a programmer's digest. I'll take that. Thank you. I'll take this in the vending machine. Uh, I, hear, I hear Protectron. I hear him. Please step into the open and identify yourself. Law-abiding citizens have nothing to fear. What the hell? Rex, where the hell? Jesus, Rex. Wait a minute, here we go. Some bottle caps, regular bottle caps. Damn, Rex, you always run ahead of me. Good dog. <laughs> 
So let's go ahead and drink those three sunset sarsaparillas. See if we get a uh, star bottle cap out of one of them. Nope, not on that one. Not on that one. Not on that one. Shit. Well, I'm sure we'll find at least a few of them. Around here somewhere, and there's all... Good God. Let's take out, take out this guy. <clears throat> One shot down. Now let's look around. Maybe we'll come across one. Or some. Not necessarily just one. I like to find more than one in this freaking place. Oh, some 9mm rounds. That's cool, I guess. Okay. That's ammunition. Even though it's not some I use, I could sell it. Another vending machine with some bottle caps and sunset sarsaparillas. Cool. Come on. And Rex is at it again. That crazy dog. Rex, you are one crazy. I didn't want the damn cup. Alright, put that back. Nothing in that desk. There we go. Rex, you are one crazy damn dog. You know that, right? Rex actually sounds really pissed. Alright, nothing there. Let's go and drink these other sunsets. Nothing. Come on. Give me at least a couple here. Couple more. Come on. Nothing. Shit. Here. Bottling robot, huh? Bucket number 27438 reporting. There seems to be a malfunction with the line, sir. Wait a minute. You're not my manager. Intruder! Oh, shit. Holy shit! Picking up a lot of sunsets out of these crates here. Alright. This is good. In, the, in that crate and there's more crates to look through so where is he Rex is he up here buddy let's find him See how many of these actually have something in it. It's worth taking. Any of those? Jesus, these are empty, huh? Alright, nothing in there. And last one, nothing. Nothing in those two desks. What the hell is going on here? That one full. Nope, empty. Anything in that one? No. Shut up, Rex. Dang it, get in my way, you. Nothing in those either. There's three. Armed and dangerous. Where is this little bat? Where is that bastard? Wait a minute, what do we got here? Another door? 
Can't go nowhere in that door. Okay. That's fine, too. Let's just see where we can explore here. There's a... Well, it's a bathroom. Probably not going to find much in, in the shitter, but that's fine. Bobby pin and a, and a couple stem packs, that's cool. Ah, uh, probably this is where the manager is, usually would be. Anything? Anything in here? A couple bottle caps. Must have taken everything else with him. If, when, when, if he actually got out of there. Anything in the toolbox? Nothing. Broken personal assistant. Eh, he's broken. Fuck him. What bottle caps? Terminal. Who? Wait a minute. Let me see here. What was the wisp? Huh? Oh shit, I got locked out. Well, damn. I thought I found a freaking thing. And it locked me out. Son of a bitch. There's a perk I can get later on that'll let me get back into them, but probably won't be getting it anytime soon. It's for a safe. I can unlock the safe, so. Boom. What's in the safe? Pre-war money, scotch, and a sunset sarsaparilla star bottle cap. Good, we, at least, we found at least one. We'll probably find more. But also, we probably might not. Who knows? Can't get back there. We're basically clear in this place, you guys. Broken custodial robot. Alright. Going through and clearing the joint. Another, uh, what's in this first aid box? I'll take the stem packs. Right, it goes back downstairs. But so does this, so. Let's head back downstairs. Nothing on this, in this, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that one's empty, okay. Oh, God, where else can we go? Mr. Janitor, he's deactivated. Another terminal. Maybe we can unlock this one and not get locked the fuck out. Four out of nine. One out of nine. Alright, let's try to do some of these brackets here. Remove some duds. Allowance for print. Good. Respected. All right, come back out and go back in. This may be a little bit of a boring part, but damn it, I want to see what's in here. Nope. 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 Command had got three of them. One. Shit. It looks like I'm going to back out and go back in one more time. Let's get out. Fuck. I hate how slow it is to load up the damn terminals. But let's see here. 
two out of nine. Two out of nine. One out of nine. Okay. What was the last one in community? Absorbing. No. Arranging. No. All right, I'm gonna lay off of it for a minute. Okay. Okay. So arranging had three out of nine. One out of nine. Fuck. What three letters could have done it? That's the problem. That, 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 see, some of these are just stupid. You gotta try to figure out the common letters. Makes me wish I had a mod that would just allow me to instantly unlock these fucking things. One of nine. Three of nine with the word grappling. Four nine with belonging. All right, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Let's remove some of these duds. Maybe try to get our allowance replenished. Perfect. All right. Belonging. Three and nine. Shit. Beginning? Four of nine again. Defeating. Yes! We got it. Took a little longer to get to that terminal than I wanted, but... Check mail, check maintenance, check maintenance. Worker MHDY135. Huh. Activating. We don't have. My services are required once more. It's about time. Mm -hmm. I like him. Uh, looks like this was the break room. What's in here? A sunset sarsaparilla. Obviously, there would be a sunset sarsaparilla in the refrigerator of the break room at the sunset sarsaparilla factory and headquarters. Obviously. Scanning for hostiles. Ah, here's the big part of the factory. One shot, one kill. Man, look at all these sarsaparillas. There's probably a bunch in each of those crates. Wait a minute, we got bottle caps on the floor. Bottle cap, regular bottle cap, regular bottle cap. Jesus Christ, Rex! He's down. Empty. I see these bottles up here. Empty. Empty, 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 empty Nuka Cola bottle. Now, why would they have that? Another terminal. Wow, that was easy. No, nope, I don't need that crap. Wait, let me check. Actually, check the message. To Margie Walker, Trucker Union Rep. Subject: Bad news. I'll apologize up front if there are any mistakes in this message. I'm trying out a new dictation headset. Margie, the boss man, just ordered some kind of newfangled robot that's supposed that's supposed to take over some of your deliveries. I'm not supposed to talk about it, but you should hear about it soon. I'll write again when I know more. Do not pass this along. It was the draft. We've got trouble. That Hush Hush experimental robot I told you about the other day, the damn thing is single-handedly running all of our distribution in the Vegas area now. Your boys aren't on temporary leave. It's permanent. Damn. The president wants to see me in his office. I'll finish this later. Huh. Ain't that somewhat suspicious? 
I have to come back in here and raid every single one of these bottles off camera. I think somehow you can make your own like bottle caps or some shit with one of these things. I don't know. God damn it, Rex, out of the way. Alright, he ain't fucking talking. Guess you can't talk to him. I think there's a way you could actually get the uh, factory working again. But I'm not 100% sure if how to do that. I'm still figuring shit out here. What's in here? Broom closet. Oh, okay. Wow, the one place where there isn't a sunset sarsaparilla. What's... Alright, I think... This, I guess this is the last door to check. For stuff. Another, another shitter. Okay. Nothing worth taking for me. Yeah, one more door. Where does this go to? Oop, another vending machine. Awesome. Very cool. Food storage. Nothing. Nothing in the, nothing in the trash can. And this goes out back. Okay. So we basically explored all we can. Ooh. Sunset Sarsaparilla. So, and another one. Alright, so we've basically explored this, and we've still got some time left before I end the episode. So real quick, let's drink all those Sunset Sarsaparillas. How many of them? 62. There's bound to be some Star Bottle Caps in there somewhere. I... We came in there with 32. Let's see how many we have now. 35. So we gained four. Holy shit! They're shooting at us, man! I took one of them down. The fuck they shooting at me for? Hold. Don't shoot me. Or my buddy Rex. Wait a minute, I think we can check this truck here real quick for some more stuff. I think. Yeah, I think I think somehow you're supposed to be able to get the place running again. I don't remember. But if that's possible, uh, no, there's nothing in the fucking truck. I may be thinking of a different Fallout game where you can get a, maybe it's not a, maybe it's a nuka cola plant in a different game, but, alright, so, now that we've done that, Brewer's Beer Bootlegging, we're just going to explore a little more, Vegas Steel, South Vegas Ruins, Vault 3, West Pump Station, Camp McCarran, oh, Monte Carlo Sweets, Miguel's Pawn Shop. We're gonna go to Miguel's Pawn Shop. I mean, why not? It's a freaking pawn shop. I mean, if it's an actual like store I can actually go and buy my shit at, it may be worth heading to. Now, if you guys watching this have played Fallout New Vegas before, and, uh, let's see, there's possibly some stuff inside those, two, inside those trucks, but if you guys know exact, like, guaranteed places where I can find a good amount of star bottle caps to make up for the other, uh, 15 that I need, other than, like, just drinking Sunset Sarsaparillas and hoping I get some, uh, let me know in the comments. And then off screen, I'll just go and pick them up. Yeah, so we're going to head to Miguel's Pawn Shop. I don't know if it's active or not. I've actually never been to it. 
ever. So I don't know if it's an active store or if it's just an old building that's ru ruined. We're about to find out. Man, this place does not look friendly. Looks, it looks like in this area there's some bad folks. Oh shit, there's a... Oh fuck. I have a feeling this there's, there's raiders near here, man. I've never been to Thorn. The Thorn. Hold up, let me. Let me remove. Oh no, I'm not there yet. So maybe it is an actual place. It's open. Jump door, west side, south entrance. Oh shit. Miguel's is over here, so I think I have to go to the west side to get to Miguel's. This is an area I've never been to. Because I've never just gone around and explored. Okay, nope. I gotta go back back around. Well, now we've explored a couple new places. Maybe after we check out Miguel's Pawn Shop, I'll find out what the hell the thorn is. Maybe some kind of... It sounds like it'd be some kind of battle arena or some shit. I hear the Nope, ain't going that way. I'm trying to find a fucking way around here. Do I have to go over and around? What the fuck? Okay, I guess I had to go over. I'm looking for Miguel's pawn shop. Where the hell is it? Over this way. Man, these guys look like they mean some serious business. West side, west entrance. Miguel's pawn shop. Is it on the other side of west side? Like, where the hell am I going, damn it? This is annoying as hell, man. Sometimes this map don't tell you what's what, what, what. It says it's over here. God dang it. But it looks like it's behind a freaking fence. This area don't look safe, and I'm getting wary here. All I want to do is see where the hell, what the hell is Miguel's pawn shop. All I want to do, and I can't get to it, cause it. All right, let's go to this other gate here. It says it's this way. So you know what? I'm going to the west entrance here. Maybe I can get there through that. Through that there. This is confusing shit. See, it says I go out that way there. Miguel's pawn shop. What the hell? See, it was telling me it's the other damn way. Well, now we're here at Miguel's pawn shop. Let's see who's here. You must be Miguel. If you're down on your luck and need some caps, I buy just about anything. Of course, I've also got plenty of things for sale, too. Uh, what do you got for sale? Of course. Mmm. Blade of Gauntlet, Cowboy Repeater, shit, 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 shit. Garbage, 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 garbage. You got garbage weapons. What miscellaneous shit. You got shit, man. You got garbage. What do you got in, ter in terms of ammo? You ain't got shit for ammo, neither, dude. You have nothing. That I don't already have, or that is better than what I got. I 
I'll save this pre-war money. And anything else I need to get rid of? 20 gauge rounds, 9 millimeter rounds, and 357 rounds. There you go. Pleasure doing. Thank God you're. A f he ain't got shit, you guys. I mean, it is a pawn shop though, so what do you expect? I wouldn't expect him to have high quality shit. To be honest with you, I was not expect. I would not expect that. If he did, I would have been pleasantly surprised. So now we've done that. I want to see what the thorn is real quick before we end this episode. I just want to see. So basically, we discovered the town of Westside. Cool. Hmm. Maybe there's good quests that I've never seen there in that area. Uh, no, can't talk to you. Can't talk to you. Can't talk to you. You're just plain unnamed residents. What about this dude? What the hell? Rex, Jesus Christ. That going dog keeps running off and attacking people before I even know that they're there. What? Well, good boy, Rex. Jesus Christ. All right, let's... Let's go down there and see what the hell this place is. What in the hell? Don't think I'll make a topside anytime soon. Where in the blue hell am I? Come to see the fight. Fight. Or Red Lucy. Red Lucy. Who in the hell? Wait, what? All right, now I'm confused, man. Who, what fights, and who in the blue hell is Red Lucy? Anybody over here, Red Lucy? Guards. I'm looking for somebody named Red Lucy to explain what the fuck is going on here. Stay underground at night. Man, don't tell me what to do. Do what the hell I want. The Thorns Cages, no. I'm looking for somebody named Red Lucy. I want to hear it. I want to see who this shit is. Cages. Cages. What the fuck is this place? Door requires key. I guess that's where we came in at. Like, I'm confused as all hell. Who in the blue hell is Red Lucy? I got... That you? There you are. I'd remember if I had seen you here before. I'm sure of it. What do you want? What is this place? The clamor of our bloodthirsty crowds reaches every corner of the wasteland. But I'll pretend that your ignorance doesn't offend me, stranger. This is the Thorn. Here's where the strong make a name for themselves. And the weak are fed to the jaws of hell. Whoa. You can bet on the contenders. Or, if you have what it takes, be one of the contenders. Be warned. The thorn demands respect. Break the rules, or offend me in any way, and I'll gut you open for all. Damn. Me. Tell me about the thorn. What do you want to know? What are the rules? The rules are simple. My creatures fight for our pleasure. You can bet on a contender and earn double if you choose the victor. But you can get a bigger share if you risk your skin in the thorn. Win a fight, and I'll give you a meaty cut of the earnings. I won't tolerate anyone that interferes with the fights. Okay. Offend me, and your blood will be the next to spill. Other than that, anything goes. Okay, do you set up custom fights? My creatures are expensive to find, expensive to raise, and expensive to maintain. If your pleasure is to see them bleed at your will, I'll oblige only after my costs are covered, stranger. Those costs will change depending on your choice of fighters. Also, I'll only allow fair fights in the Thorn. I'll help you set up good matches. You pay, you bet, and I bring you the most delightful spectacle hmm. on this world. Are we clear? Let's go back to my other questions here. I'm listening. Tell me about you. What's on your mind? Oh, could, should I do it, guys? I don't know. Uh, da, 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 da. No, goodbye. So, so, this is basically an arena. A fighting arena. Okay. 
sounds cool actually maybe it's a good place where I can earn some good caps and gain some experience um huh, I think I know what's gonna happen in the next episode alright guys that's gonna be the end of this video if you enjoyed it don't uh, make sure to leave a uh, oh. do make sure to leave a like leave some comments uh, subscribe if you have not already turn on the post notifications and follow me on Twitter and Instagram via the links in the description and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys